which work because of an additional power source like electricity, gases, or petrol and diesel. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify power tools and describe their uses and you should also be able to effectively use a ladder. Let's first look at electric tools. What we have here first is an electric drill. This is used for making round holes or for driving fasteners into material. It is fitted with the bits in front depending on the job you are going to do. You also get what you call a core bit which is to make larger holes in order to insert pipes. An angle grinder is used for cutting or chasing the wall in order to insert pipes as well. An electric threading machine is used to make threads in pipes also, like the one we saw in part one. The difference is that it is powered by electricity. Let's then look at gas tools. Gas tools are tools which are used with gases in order to do plumbing jobs. These gases are stored in cylinders of different colors. Oxygen comes in a black cylinder, LPG comes in a gray or green or blue as well as orange cylinders. And then acetylene comes in a maroon cylinder. The uses for these gases are as follows. You use oxygen and LPG, which is best for soldering. And then there is oxygen and acetylene, which is best for welding, brazing, as well as cutting. These cylinders need to be upright at all times. So it is important to store them safely where they will not be disturbed. We then get blow torches as well as cutting and welding torches, which apply a hot flame for various applications like soldering, welding, brazing, as well as cutting. Then we get a gas hose which connects the welding torch to the gas cylinder. Flashback arresters are very, very, very important because these are safety devices which stop the gas or the flame from flowing in the opposite direction of the supply line. Then we get a regulator which controls the pressure of the gas coming from the cylinder. All of these parts together form what we call portable gas equipment, which as a whole is used for soldering, welding, brazing, and even cutting. Okay, let's look at other small machines. First, we have a generator. A generator is a machine which produces electricity, which is very useful on sites where the electricity has not been connected yet. A compactor in plumbing is specifically used to make the ground more solid before laying drain pipes. An electric welding machine is used with an electrode which transfers this, the source to the metal you are working on. A jetting machine 
is normally used when drains are badly blocked and the use of a drain cleaning rod like the one we saw in part one is ineffective. It works with a very high water pressure in order to unblock the pipe. Then we have a cutting and threading machine. It is a machine which has an electric motor which is controlled by a foot switch. It cuts rims and threads pipes. It is based for large workshops where there are lots of people working. We then have ladders. A ladder is a piece of equipment which is used to climb up to reach a higher place which you cannot reach when standing on ground surface. Ladders commonly used in construction are the following. We get a platform ladder, a step ladder, a simple straight ladder and an extension ladder. You also get an articulated ladder, which is a combination of a step ladder as well as an extension ladder. Then you get your multi purpose ladders. It is important to use. A suitable ladder for the specific job you will do and to use it correctly in order to avoid accidents which can be fatal. Here are a few tips of using a ladder. Always check your ladder for damage like cracks, missing pieces, bent styles or rungs before use. Place your ladder on a stable level surface. Always make sure that you face the ladder when climbing up or down. Always use the three points of contact when on the ladder, which basically means that if you have two hands on the ladder, Make sure that at least one foot is on the ladder at the same time. And if you have two feet on your ladder, make sure that at least one hand is on the ladder as well. Also, do not allow another person to climb on or work under the same ladder you are using. Also, do not exceed the maximum load rating of the ladder. Thank you for watching this lesson. Your next lesson will be on scaffolding and working safely on roofs.